round two of the Northern Lights. We are expecting another show from Mother Nature tonight. But it all depends, of course, on the forecast. Meteorologist Greg Dutra joining us now with what to expect. Greg? And I am here and happy to report that the weather for tonight will be perfect if the Aurora decide to show up again for this evening. Partly cloudy skies here as we head towards sunset and then clearing during the overnight so we won't have that overcast and those rain showers to deal with uh, like we did for a portion last night. And what a show it was last night. Check out some of these images that were sent in. This is from Mount Sterling. Amber sent this in. You can see that all it takes is just a couple second exposure on your cell phone camera and you can get pictures like this. That was from Lyle. Here's from Oaklawn. Just absolutely perfect, but everybody's asking when exactly can we expect to see these? And I keep having to tell people space weather. It's kind of a new science. Into these events, we have to just take a wild guess, really, with speed yeah. and direction. When we see, first see them emerge from the sun, then we have to wait until it arrives at that satellite. So we put our watch out. Then when we see it hit the satellite a million miles away, we can put out our warnings, and then we put out the alerts for when we're actually hitting the levels expected. It, we see these happen on the sun. Then we have to wait for them to travel 92 million miles to get to our first satellite till we can measure them, which is about a million miles from Earth. And then we can go ahead and issue the alerts and the warnings and actually see if it's the show that we think it's going to be. Space weather science, it's actually like weather science was about 30 or 40 years ago. So here's a look at our best guess for the Aurora tonight. Now, again, we're in the midst of a storm. It's not going to be as active tonight as it was last night, but but as I said, sometimes we get a little bit surprised here. The Aurora will be likely through southern Wisconsin and into northern Illinois, and we are still very firmly in the possible visible range. So if you have a chance, it's not going to be when you go to bed tonight. You'd have to set your alarm at about three or so in the morning to get up and check it out. I'll have some resources for you that you can check out uh, what exactly is going on with the Aurora when you do wake up to see if it's even worth going outside coming up in just a little bit. But I really hope that we're pleasantly surprised again tonight. A lot of folks, they saw it for the first First time last night. Back. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.